You ever have one of those days where there's just so much going on? Never. And you just can't squeeze everything in? That's what today is. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to talk faster. Can you tell? I'm thinking it's kind of like the theory that I have that if I don't go to bed every night, if I save one hour and don't go to sleep, I go to an hour bed an hour later, I gain 365 hours over the course of a year. And 365 pounds. That's crap. No, I don't not. believe that. But I think you're right, Bill. Think of all the things that you would be able to accomplish with an extra yeah. 365 hours. Trying to do the math quickly, that's another uh, almost two weeks. About a week and a half, I think. If I if I've added to my life. Yeah. And uh, i got to tell you, I, I probably stay up about two hours longer than I should. So I'm almost a couple of months here. Yeah. You know, I, I've, I've got every year, every that's year. Great. You'll I'll, sleep I'll, when you're dead, right? I'll, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's why waste it. Although they do say, as Christine says, that if you don't get enough sleep, go ahead, say it. That you're actually curtailing your life and adding, you're gonna increasing live, the chance that you you're will going, not live as long. Right. And you'll maybe heavier. You can't you lose be weight. Because you look well, for that those quick energy I, shots. And, and look at me. I'm putting on weight and I look like I'm dying. <laughs> so there we go. Everything's good. Seem to be following right along the path there, Christine. Okay. This, uh, this se he's a senior at... Uh, you're a senior at Central Valley Academy, right? Is this Fred? Yes. Hi, Fred. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Are you a, you're a senior? Uh, no, I graduated. You did graduate. I okay. I didn't know you graduated already. Oh, yeah. So you were in Little Falls driving just recently. Yep. And uh, tell us what, what happened here. I was driving down Arthur Street and um, going through the intersection of Arthur and Church. And when I was almost through the intersection, this big dark colored truck came and ran his red light and flashing red light and smashed into the back end of my car. Mm. And then just kept driving. Oh, yeah. Spun me right around and wow. sent me flying into a fence and then drove away. Wow. And how, how, can you describe the, the truck again? Um, I didn't see very much of it. It was yeah. pretty dark out. It was about 7 o'clock when it happened, but it was a, it was a big dark colored truck. Uh, pickup truck? Yeah, pickup truck. Okay, so a large uh, a large pickup truck. Anybody have a a any leads? I mean, really, you'd have to... And this happened when, by the way? Oh, uh, this happened a few weeks ago. Okay. Can you, give us a, can you give us a date and an approximate time so we could put the word out? Um... Or you can get back to us with it. Yeah, let's, let's make sure we have the details because we'll do something. You just never know when somebody's like... You know, hey, Bob, how'd you get that, uh, how'd you smash your car up like that, or your truck up like that? Well, I don't know, um, you know, what? But, you know, it might kind of, all of a sudden, two and two, you've got yourself uh, your guy, uh, or woman, it, by it, the way. It, it was a deer. It was a deer. Yeah, yeah. That's the likely. So, ha have there been any leads at all on this? Obviously, you reported it to police, your insurance company, and all that. No, we haven't gotten any leads yet. Um, when we talked to the police um, a little over a week ago, they told us, that um, they had some trucks under investigation, but we haven't heard anything back. Okay, from them. all right. And it um, was February twenty second. February twenty second was the uh, date, about seven p.m. Mm -hmm. And you're saying it's a dark colored large pickup truck. Yes. Okay. And uh, and it did some it did some serious damage for you uh, on your vehicle. Yeah, we're just starting to find out the extent of the damage now. We wow. um we ended up getting some parts for it. Some like a back quarter panel and a bumper and stuff so we could start replacing parts because all that was ripped off. Hmm. All my cores are damaged to the point where I need new ones. And then we just found out the other day that the frame is dented a bit worse than we expected. So oh, we're boy. Are you, are you right. okay? Yeah, yeah, I was fine. Well, thank God, right? Yeah. Um, and that was in the city of Little Falls, yeah. um, which uh, happened again. The streets were church and the intersection of church and what? Arthur. Church and Arthur Street in Little Falls. So, hey, if anybody knows, you can give us a call here at the radio station at 736-0186. You know, Fred, that somebody knows. Oh, yeah. There's Probably. a group of people that are staying quiet and protecting, you know, Johnny the crazy driver. Yeah. Or or who knows why this person didn't want to stop, right? There might have been something something going on. So, all right, well, listen, maybe this will help. We'll do a story on it, and we'll see if we can help you out there. And, uh, again, uh, one quick question before you go. What happens with insurance when you turn this in? Does do you get credit? Um, I mean, this was a, a crime that was committed. 
Um, all that would happen um, would be if we found the guy and found like that he was at fault. Yeah. It was already determined that he was. His insurance would have to pay for it. The best thing I could do with my own insurance would be to claim a, um, a no fault. Yeah. And, and that's that goes why against your, it goes against you. Well, and especially it, with his age, you know. I mean, that's that's going to hurt him. How until old he's are you, 25. Fred? How old are you, Fred? I didn't. I didn't hear what you said. You're 22. You said. 18. Oh, 18. Eight, yeah, oh, yeah. that that made sense. And also, it really costs all of us because it goes into New York's uninsured yeah, accident. Yeah. You know, pile. Well, they get of, to double dip. They get to go after all of us, and then right. they'll go after him with a with a higher insurance rate. So, all right, Fred. Good luck. We'll t- hopefully. This could do, do some good for you, okay? All right, thank you. Right, thank you. Um, isn't that, you know, that's a violation. When you've been, if somebody robs your house, somebody does something like that, it's, it is a, it's, you feel violated. And because somebody did something to you, they, they caused problems in your life, and they just kind of uh, took off, and you, and you may never find them. So we're asking anyone with information to call Andrew? Yeah, uh, that or you can call Little Falls Police as well, which I don't remember the number over there, but... Andrew, 7360186. So I had an incident uh, myself uh, a little while, maybe a few months ago, where I was leaving um, Artelicious before it was uh, right when a Comets game started and I was working uh, and I hit a truck and I thought to myself, oh, oh you hit this, a truck. Yeah. And I said, this <clears throat> is awful. And, you know, and it wasn't because of all the wounded warrior stickers and the, the fact that this guy was clearly a veteran, but mm. I was not going to. I wasn't going to just drive off, you know, drive off and yeah. leave this person, you know, because even though it was a small thing and I yeah. probably could have gotten away with it, I just wouldn't have felt right. So, you know, I leave the note, yeah. you know, they got in touch with me and everything ended up working out. But I mean, it, really, it's not that hard. If you've got insurance yeah. and you were the person responsible for damage to another person's car, you know, odds are the insurance isn't going to go up that much if it's a minor ding. So just I, do the right uh, thing. I, I, just do uh, the right thing. I couldn't agree with you more, Andrew. I could I, like the time I hit my wife's car in the garage and told her somebody did it at the grocery store. <laughs> um, I totally agree with you. Uh, Who here's, did that? Here's some idiot at the grocery store just dinged your car. Here's Christine with an update. 749. Good morning. Good morning. Governor Cuomo continuing to push his paid family leave plan. Republican leaders in the state Senate want to cut middle class income taxes by about $3.5 billion. And Utica's own Leon Etienne is headed to China. We'll talk to him coming up. Uh, morning clouds today, and that's going to give way to some nice sunny skies. we are up near 50 today. Tonight, 26. Tomorrow, sunshine, and we're going to 59 degrees tomorrow. It's going to be uh, probably above 60 for parade time. It's going to be really a beautiful day with a lot of sunshine. And pretty much the same thing with some more clouds on Sunday, but sunny clouds on Sunday, high up near 60. Angie Damiano. Uh, Damiano is celebrating today. Angie, happy birthday. Jessica Colucci in Utica. Ronnie Mason in Waterville. Gina Hadick in Clinton. And Dan Zetko in Sequoia. Everybody celebrating today. Happy birthday, Angie Damiano. And she'll get the cake from the Florentine Pastry Shop on Bleecker Street. Get a birthday on air by going to our new send at WIBX950.com. Or you can send it a postcard, WIBX Birthdays, 9418 River Road, Marcy, 13403. Tom, quickly, uh, I've got just a second. Go ahead. Uh, Little Falls Police Department phone number is 823-1122. Got it. Okay, thanks, There you Tom. go. Uh, got a break. Hold on tight. Coming right back at WIBX.